Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve if the fast startup mode is missing from power options in Windows 11. So assuming your hardware supports it, it may not be visible in the entry list. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to hopefully resolve that. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing I recommend doing would be to open up the search menu, type in CMD, best match, or come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. Now I will have a couple of commands in the description of my video guys. First one I want you to run here is starts with power CFG. So go ahead and copy that and then go up the top bar of the command prompt here, right click on it, select edit and then paste it in, hit enter. So we basically just should have reset our default power plans and hopefully it should appear once you restart your computer. So go ahead and actually restart your device at this time. And then hopefully the option should appear once again for you. If you are still having a problem, you go back into the command prompt here, open up the elevated command line window. So just right click on the command prompt again and select run as administrator, select yes. Now the second command is going to be a registry entry. So go ahead and copy it, starts with a reg add, and then go ahead and paste that into the command prompt here. So in our case, our system firmware just does not support hibernation, which is certainly a possibility. However, these were a couple options to try. Hopefully it should have just said that the operation completed successfully for both of them here. So you can see the entry was created, but however, we could not turn it on because it is not supported. So if we were to open up power options here, go in or choose a power plan, Choose what the power button does, and if we change settings are currently unavailable, you can see that option does not appear for us. However, like I said, there is a reason for that, but it should otherwise appear there for you. So again, assuming that your system firmware supports it, in which case, you know, it either does or it does not. So pretty straightforward process, guys. I do a positive to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.